How's it going, my friends? It's Anarchist, and today I'm doing a review for Transformers Earthrise Wheeljack. Uh, probably happy to get a good version of Wheeljack probably in the collection. As you can see there's a the front of the box, the artwork on the side, artwork on the side, and figure details on the back. Uh, I'm just going to pop him open and uh, check him out. Okay, so here's Will Jack out of the package, and you see he looks really nice and done nice colors. And the red on the chest and the green and red on the legs. It's a head sculpt really good. It's, it's nice there. It's just really nice. It's, you can bring this guy up and you can see his eyes in there. It looks really good all the way around. It's got multiple weapon ports here. Got one in each forearm. He's got these pegs here for his uh, gun. And other little peg accessories. Uh, little tabs for uh, blast effects. Uh, weapon port right there. And one on his back and one on the Back of the legs. Gotta get used to having that there. That's something new. Little Jack looks really nice. His head can go 360. His arms can potentially go all the way around there on a kind of. I'll say some type of joint right there in the shoulder. But arms can go all the way up like that. There's a mushroom joint in the upper arm right there. There's a bend of the elbow and the hands are mushroom joints. There's waist articulation. And the leg can kick up that far and kick all the way back that far. This is a beautiful spread. And he's got, well, bendy there at the feet. Mainly due to transformation, but it still works out very well. Little Jack here looks really good. And little things I don't like see the side panels on the sides of his hands. That's just a little nitpick. That's just a little bit of kibble right there, but I can live with it. Gonna unpeg his gun. We can go on either side. Or he can hold it in his hand. Like so. But Will Jack needs a shoulder cannon. I'm sure Toy Hacks or some third party weapon guys will make one. Uh, make him a couple weapons if they haven't already. Because he has been out for a while. And I'm just. I have too much stuff to review. And I haven't really been doing a lot of Transformers, so lately I've been trying to get my Transformers back in here, because this is what I started off as, a Transformer uh, reviewer. Anyway, getting off topic, I go ahead and get him into vehicle mode, and bring his arms all the way up, unhook. Oh, you know what? I totally screwed that up. Little back winglets are right here. They look nice right there, but just, uh... Straighten them out like that. Bring the legs, their arms up like that. Unhook the chest, bring it all the way down. 
holding that in. No. Rotate the chest all the way around to straighten that out. You fold them at the waist. On peg and the knees. There's a little peg right in there. You want to bring them all the way up and flatten out the feet. This is where I've had a little problem with this guy right here. See, look at that. Popped right off. But that just might be me. Bring that all the way back up. And just kind of peg that all in. It should just peg in nicely. Give a little squeeze here and there. Squeeze it. And there's the front of the car. And you take the arms and just hold them all the way back. There's a hole right here on each side. There's these pegs right here and here that will go right into there to both sides. Then you just straighten out the arms and fold them in. There's a peg right there that will peg in right there. Just a little bit more. And he rolls very well. That's very good. I can see the red and green, white striping, arrow bolts, and start running right in on the. There. Oh, look at this. this guy didn't peg in right. All right, buddy, you need to get in your seat. You're disrupting the class. There we go. Good, good, very good, okay. Ready on the side. That's very good. Very reminiscent of the original wheel jack. And it's about time we got a decent wheel jack. The past series one, Gen one. Uh, the next wheel jack I think we had besides an Action Master was in Armada, and he was an Autobot who turned into Decepticon, a former friend of Hot Shots. In the Japanese version, he was called Rampage, which would have been a better name for him besides Wheel Jack. <laughs> And then we had Energon Downshift, which was basically looked like Will Jack. I think his name in Japan was Will Jack. But since Energon was a sequel to Armada, we couldn't use the name. But they did give him Will Jack a repaint in a upgraded in a Cybertron. Uh, 
Oh, see that piece just popped off again. One little minor detail which I'm not very happy with. But Then I just popped off the other one. I'm really not liking that. That is just an annoyance. And I'm sure I'm probably doing something to cause that. I'm not sure what. But I'm... I'm gonna fix that in a moment, and then we'll as well go from here to comparing Will Jack here to some of his friends. So be right back. Okay, so here's Will Jack All up and transformed, and here it is awful. Combiner Wars version. You can see, definitely see, he is so much better than him. I mean, he's got a nice head sculpt. But, that's all this, this here, and this. it's just not a good look for Will Jack. But, uh, here is Cybertron Downshift, a little clunkier, nice updated head sculpt. You can see the similarities are, are definitely there. There's a winglet, ears on the sides of the head and the, the face plate and the eyes. Nice looking head sculpt, nice looking figure. A lot better than that, uh, Combiner Wars nonsense. But that is Transformers, Earthrise, Warf Cybertron, Little Jack. Oops. Add on his uh, little gun right there. So, if you like this figure, uh, wait, no, I give, I'm giving him a 10. I'm giving him a 10 out of 10 because I'm a, a, Will Jack was a favorite character in this original series. Uh, definitely liked seeing him on the show. And definitely one of those top figures that I did want an updated version for in Generations, which I'm glad they actually did a good job on giving us a new one. So, definitely a 10 out of 10. If you can get them in the stores, which is widely available still, pick them up. And if you liked this review, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to whack that bell for notifications. And just remember to keep hitting those toy aisles, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.